Alright, hey guys, how's it going? So, this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how you're going to write your written explanation for your Much Ado About Nothing oral. Okay, so let's get started. For this, how you're going to structure your oral, I've used my own oral as a sort of example, a sort of structure that you can follow to write your own. Um, there are like several structures that you can use to write your oral, but I recommend, I would, I would say that my structure is pretty strong, so you can follow it or sort of make adjustments where you want. Um, so yeah, going to start going through it. By the way, if you haven't done so already, make sure you, um, I've sent you all this file, so make sure you go read my written explanation and then come back and watch this video and it should make a lot more sense after you've read it. So let's get started. So first you got to start off with your uh, introduction paragraph. My monologue is set in the contemporary society of Melbourne, allowing me to draw comparisons with the Elizabethan society of Messina, which was masterf masterfully constructed in the play Much Do About Nothing. Okay, so first sentence, create your context for, the, for your oral. Through the humorous and central character Benedict, I was able to add an aspect of comic relief. Okay, so then now you have to choose, now you have to explain the character that you've chosen for your oral. And you also need to explain why you chose that character. So I've said to add comic relief to my light-hearted light oral. Um, and then next, next sentence, you go on to say the reason that you chose this idea. Or you need to say the idea that you chose and the reason that you chose it. So, uh, yeah, this sentence here, that's basically my idea. And then next sentence, I've got my purpose. Yep, so this sentence here. I've got my purpose, what I'm trying to achieve by um, writing this oral. Next sentence, um, it is required that the audience has read the play. That's sort of just a sent. that's like a line you need in your written explanation there. Okay, so now we've gotten past the introduction. First paragraph, what I've got here is I've got, uh, first I've talked about the structure of my piece. So you've all gone and made like a sort of structure, plot points for your piece. Um... So it talks about my structure, the way the the key the key um the key elements of my oral is using humor and sort of like playful imagery evoking uh interpretations by Benedict. So yep, humor and I've talked about how I've used that in my piece. Next next I've gone on to talk about symbols, uh literary techniques. So for example, this is where you talk about the gods you use. Uh, mention the metaphorical language, and you can use it examples like quotes from your piece like this, um, similes even, I've talked about my imagery, um, yep, and I've also talked about the historical context I've used uh, relating back to Italian wars, Greek mythology, so that's just like all my little references that I use, um, this includes witty humour, yep, dramatic irony, so yeah, talk about um, talk about your, I guess, techniques there. Also, um, one thing here, um, when you, when you can in your written explanation, so I'm sure that you guys probably have like some, some like secret, I guess, not secret, but subtle references that it might be hard to pick up on. So like, for example, um, in my piece, I've said mere whispering from friends. And then this is sort of a subtle, a subtle reference to um, how Benedict was brought together with Beatrice through mere whisperings through his friends. Um, so yeah, try to implement, talk about those subtle features wherever you can, like weave it in. Okay, next paragraph. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is, now now we're going into more into the more themes section. Um, so I've started talking about my paragraph ideas for my themes. Um, your your written explanation will look a, lo a lot different. So I haven't. This isn't really a theme, but I've talked about technology, like my ideas for my paragraphs and transportation. Um, so yeah, one of my themes is sort of like the many comparisons between the two societies. So that's why I've got this here. Um, I've started talking about the emphasis on war. And also gender roles. Yep, yeah, I've talked about gender roles here. Um, also here, how gender roles have changed. 
Um, I've talked about concept uh, concept of playful dating versus, um, I guess, versus the uh, like very serious courtship, very loyal. How everyone's very loyal in uh, the Messina, in Messina, and then um, I've gone on to talk about. Let me see. Yep, my themes here. How love was viewed as a destiny. So that's love as a fate right there. And I guess, yeah, love guided by fate. Okay? So, oh yeah, and mass as symbol here. Um, and then you've just sort of got your ordinary conclusion here. So yeah, that's sort of how you want to structure a written explanation. Feel free to like play around with it. Um, I hope that this video helped you in and good luck for writing your own written explanation.